There's champions and there's the elite champions. If you want to be the best, you can't be normal. You need to be obsessed. It's not what you have done during your training camp that will make you a champion. It's what you have done all your life. George Champier was the fastest learner, the hardest worker. If you're that committed to something, the sky's the limit. When he came to the UFC, you could tell that there was something special about him. He just was a step ahead of his opponents at all times. He just looked like a perfect fighter. George St. Pierre, dominant in every phase of the game, standing up and on the ground. He was looked at as the new 2.0 mixed martial arts fighter. In a lot of ways, he is the perfect fighting machine. Jiu-jitsu, striking, wrestling, he truly was a master martial artist across all disciplines. That is contender at 170 pounds. I want that belt so bad, get it to me! By UFC 65, there was no more complete fighter in the UFC than George St. Pierre. Tonight, the future has become the present. The run that George went on was unreal, to be honest. George St. Pierre didn't just win fights, he won every single second of these fights. You want to talk about a dominating victory? He took world-class opponents and made them look below average. If you're worried too much about his striking, he'll wrestle. If you're worried about his wrestling, he'll strike you. Oh, Good right hand, right hand. He just would shut guys down in a way that you had to respect. It is going to be so hard for anyone to stop this. I think that the defining moment of George St. Pierre's career was getting that win back against Matt Serra. It was in Montreal. The crowd was crazy. In his rematch with Matt Serra, it was a one-sided affair. George St. Pierre is the undisputed welterweight champion. After that, the explosion of Canadian MMA started. He was the flagship. He was mixed martial arts in Canada. They love George St. Pierre. I honestly don't think that there was anything bigger than when we brought GSP to Toronto. There is an energy like never seen or heard before. 55,000 in attendance. Just that number, 55,000, it was hard for people to wrap their head around it. A full stadium of people watching mixed martial arts, headlined by George St. Pierre. He was the national hero, fighting the best guys, and he did that. He fought the absolute best guys. He's constantly searching for the impossible goal of perfection. George St. Pierre defending the title tonight for the ninth time. The pressure that must come with that, being the champion for so long, constantly fighting the best guy in the world, the hungriest person, the number one contender. He was literally putting so much into the sport. He had nothing left for his own personal joy and, and life. I need to, to hang up my glove for a little bit. Are you I, retiring right now? Is that what you're saying? I have, I have to go away for a little bit at least. Is this the end? He kept true to what he said. He stepped away from the game for several years. Year after year, we would hear, you know, is George St. Pierre coming back? Is George St. Pierre coming back? And all of a sudden, the word breaks that he's not only coming back, but he's going to move up to middleweight to fight Michael Bisping. What a moment as George St. Pierre makes his return tonight. He wanted to come back and prove that he still had what it took to be a champion in the UFC. Oh! GSP drops Bisping! It was great to see him come back and perform as well as he did. He's out! George he's out! Pierre! Oh! Got it! He was able to get it done and become a two-division champion and walk away with the highest of highs. He was always so hungry to improve to the point that he never settled for being less than the best. George St. Pierre may be the greatest mixed martial arts fighter who ever lived. He was that good. He was in a class of his own. He represents the very best aspects of martial arts. He's a true champion inside and outside of the octagon. GSP's legacy is clean. He's one of the best martial artists of all time. George was ahead of everybody one of the best ever. He's the GOAT and he's a role model to all of us. An incredible world champion and a guy that everybody can look up to and respect. Thank you for the support. Everybody that came to support me, thank you so much. My dream come true. The greatest champion in UFC welterweight history, ladies and gentlemen, George St. Pierre.